here is a super simple tip to help you increase your overall protein intake. Now, this is something that I've been using with my clients and also myself, and it's an easy way to increase my protein intake to make sure I'm hitting my goals. First things first, you need to know how much protein you're having. But before I answer that, for those of you watching on YouTube, why am I shirtless? Because it is December the 8th, I think, maybe it's the 9th, and it is 45 degrees at the moment. I've just got back from a walk. This was on my mind. I'm like, I have to record this now. I can't turn on the fan because I need you guys to be able to listen so you don't hear the background noise. So I'm sitting here as a sweaty mess. I apologize. But anyways, that's not the reason you're here. The reason you're here is to know about how to increase your protein intake. And all you need to do to increase your protein intake, and what I do and what my clients do, is to work on increasing your protein intake at breakfast time. This is where I noticed most people struggle. They have a typical breakfast that doesn't include any protein or something that's low, like you know, 10 grams or less. Oh, I have some toast with avocado. Oh, you know, sometimes I'll have a coffee on the way to work and a croissant. I'll have this, I'll have that. And I'm like, where is the protein, man? So as soon as I start with clients and they, uh, when clients start up with me and we look at where they're struggling, it always comes down to breakfast usually. And so when I help them front load their protein intake for the day, it makes things a lot easier. It makes it achievable and they don't even think about the rest of the day trying to increase their protein because usually lunch and dinner aren't where people struggle. So when I help them increase that portion for breakfast, it just makes their life so much easier. And funnily enough, it's not even like it would, it's a problem anymore. They're like, oh, how did I struggle with this so much? The only important thing is, again, you've just got to find things that are high in protein, number one. I apologize for the background noise. High in protein, number one. And number two, that you're actually going to enjoy it. Because I know some people don't like having sweet things for breakfast. So like for me, having a, uh, a protein week bix in the morning, an overnight week bix, which is an easy way to increase my protein, not everyone's going to enjoy that, which is absolutely fine. So you've got to have other options that are going to be high in protein. Eating meat is okay to eat for breakfast. You know, people are like, oh, well, you know, could I eat chicken? Yeah, you can eat chicken. You could eat steak. You could eat fish. You could fish for breakfast. I don't know about that. I mean, you could, but fuck, it's a bit risky. Uh, I mean, people have smoked salmon, I guess. So there's heaps of options there for you to increase your protein intake. You just need to work on focusing on breakfast first. <clears throat> so what I recommend is trying to get between 25 to 40 grams of protein for your breakfast. Now again, if you're someone who's like, okay, how do I put this into context? How does that kind of work? Well, if we look at something sweet, I would recommend a high protein Greek yogurt with some protein powder mixed together. And then you can put that on something. You could have it as a side, you could have it as a main. So if you have it as a main, like I explained before, overnight pro uh, overnight wheat bix. You know, I crush out my wheat bix, I mix it with some water, I flatten it out like a cheesecake, I mix some protein powder and yogurt together, I make it as a layer, boom, 35 grams of protein right there. If I want to increase the protein, I can either add more yogurt or I can increase the protein powder content. That simple, okay? Another thing you can do is just have a protein smoothie in the morning. For those of you that are in Australia, go and look at, if you don't want to make one at home, which is again, a super simple, look at the iced coffee that Ned's Milk has just released. It is delicious. The best High protein iced coffee, I would recommend. Like, it blows me away. I like had it. And I don't know if you guys have had the Rokebury Farms espresso, whatever it is. It's fucking disgusting. I don't get it. I don't get how people drink it. I'm like, what is this? I would rather make my own because it's fucking terrible. Angie, my partner, who doesn't even drink protein powder, oh, doesn't drink protein powder, she, uh, doesn't drink coffee, she has this and she goes, yeah, this is actually pretty nice. I'm like, are you insane? Like, how do you not drink coffee that is actually delicious, but you will drink this terrible, no offense to Rick Farms, but you fucking, you failed epically on the uh, double espresso drink. So instead, I want you to do, you know, get one of them, have a taste and be like, what the fuck is this? And then taste the Ned's iced coffee. You are going to be blown away from the difference. All right. Not only that, Ned's Ice Coffee is high in protein, so it's 26 grams. It sounds like I'm fucking endorsing them. I am. I'm just not sponsored by them. Uh, you know, it's 26 grams of protein. It's low in fat. I think it's like seven grams of fat, and I think it's like you know 50 grams of carbs. But it's like 350 calories, and it's got 125 milligrams of caffeine. So if you need a pick me up coffee. Most of you are probably drinking an espresso, uh, an espresso, uh, probably a skim cappuccino like myself, or a skim white, or a flat white, whatever you have. If you want the coffee hit and a protein hit, replace your coffee with Ned's Ice Coffee, okay? Now again, sounds like I'm selling you on them. When I have a product that I, I believe in and that I fucking love, I am gonna sell it. You look at my fridge right now, it's full of Ned's Protein Iced Coffee because it fucking does the job, it's got caffeine, it's got everything I need, and it just helps you tick that box. So that's the way you can increase your protein intake overall, is to focus on your breakfast. Now here's the thing, if you still struggle with it and you need some more breakfast ideas, click on the link in the description. I have 20 high protein breakfast ideas for you. 20! 
That means if you don't like one, there's 19 more available for you. That means if you don't like two or five, there's 15 more available for you. It's in the link, it's free. You click on it, you download it, and I guarantee you, it's gonna make increasing your protein intake of breakfast so much easier. So click on the link below and get it now. Speak to you guys next time.